Oh boy, yo, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again for another video. Um, was on my way home, heard the news of Jalen Smith being released by the Dallas Cowboys. Wow, that was a shocker. But before we get into that, I want to, um, those of you guys that know, um, if not, definitely support this T, J Lee's T, that's J E L I S E T. Dot com go get your uh go get your six pack hell get your 12 pack you can mix them up she has um two main different versions but there's with this one so there's three all together so this is the sweetened version of the hibiscus tea those of you that know the uh, health qualities of hibiscus tea um go look it up um a lot of health attributes when it comes to teas like lowering high blood pressure things of that nature um uh, those of you that are going through depression, you know, you've got COVID going on and stuff. Good for mental health, getting you stable and stuff like that. But it's de definitely healthy. This is the sweetened version. Now, the sweetened version is sweetened with honey. So, it's infused with honey. Um, um, she also has a white tea called Royal Tea. I actually, I actually like that as well. But this is the fan favorite right here. This is the one that everybody loves. But me personally, I love both of the main ones. The Royal Tea is good too. Um, that one has lemon balm in it as well as, um, a hint of pineapple and is also sweetened with honey. Um, there's an unsweetened version of this for those of you guys that want the unsweetened version. But for the majority of us, I know you want the sweetened version. So um, definitely get this. Check out her Instagram page, Jaylee's T on on instagram and definitely order these off the website jaylistea.com she definitely works hard on making these teas um black owned company um she's been doing it for five years now um she has some of her stuff in um some local stores between here and detroit um but um definitely up and coming so she's just trying to get established right now but these are really good um she does different venues and stuff whenever um, here in the DMV and different areas and stuff like that. So um, just check out the website. She'll probably have information on that as well. Um, I know some of you guys have already uh, subscribed to this and got some of her teas, but they're really good. I drink them all the time. Trust me. Trust and believe. I don't BS. But back to the video. Guys, Jalen Smith. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um. I didn't think that they would do that in the middle of the season. Sorry, it's nice and cold too. Oh god. Anyway, um I didn't think they'll do that in the middle of the season like that. Well, first quarter that is because I had planned on doing a whole different type of video talking about something totally different, but I'll wait till tomorrow for that. But I was on my way home uh driving and i saw it pop up and i was like Jalen smith getting released and then i seen mark instantaneously you know live stream it so i was just like wow okay so let me go home get some information on it so i could talk about it and then i'll do my video later y'all know me i don't i don't i don't do the videos right away because i like to give y'all a little bit of information so we kind of figure out why things happen right so there's been talk about since the last offseason about Jalen Smith being traded. Um, it seems like they've been trying to trade him since this past offseason. Couldn't get a buyer. Mind you, the Cowboys owe him, what, seven, what is it, $7.62 million for the year? So I guess another team didn't want to take that contract on, which, I mean, that's for a veteran of his, of his stature. That's not bad. That's not a bad contract, in my opinion. But, um, I think that if a team gets them, they'll probably pay him like $3 million. They'll probably pay him half of that seven, which is probably what they're thinking, especially right now. I know a lot of teams don't have a whole lot of cap space, but if a team wants you, they want you. That's pretty much how it goes. Now, um, by him being released, um, it's shocking in the grand scheme of things, but when you look at why they did it, right? So basically, the team was carrying what they call an uncomfortable... 9.2 million dollar risk injury risk uh up until 2022 so basically if he got injured per se that is his guaranteed money for his injury and they didn't want <laughs> they didn't want Jalen. <laughs> they was like please don't get hurt because if he got hurt then they would have had to pay him that 9.2 million but right now his contract for the season is 7.62 million dollars 
Um, if this is the thing, if the Dallas Cowboys, well, if if Jalen Smith gets, you know, he's a veteran, so he he doesn't have to clear waivers, so a, a team could sign him immediately, like a, a team could sign him tomorrow, which I'm pretty sure a team's gonna probably gonna get him between tomorrow and the next day. Jason Garrett, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, again, apparently they've been trying to get rid of him since last season, since this past off season. But you know, they they dumbed it down and said, "Oh, we're not trying to trade him." Blah blah blah. You know, because you can't trade him, and and technically they couldn't trade him because the team, like I said, wasn't going to take that contract, which is understandable. Um, in this time of in time of the season, but um. I don't know. I kind of feel the type of way because I actually like Jalen Smith. I know some of you guys have been trashing Jalen for a minute, saying he sucks and this and that. This is the thing. You got to understand, from a guy like me that played linebacker, right, playing football, understanding that, like, most linebackers run sideline to sideline, right? So you're doing a lot of switching directions, right? And it's hard for a guy like him because ever since he had that injury in the bowl game, um, and that nerve damage, and now he has forever drop foot. Like there's, there's parts of his his foot part that he can't control, right? So that's why he runs kind of weird sometimes. It looks like he's galloping sometimes when he runs, and he lost a step because of that. So understand if that happened to you, you're not gonna be the same person that you were before. So I kind of give him a pass because of that type of injury because there's nothing you could do about that. There's there's no healing. It, it's it the, the nerve is dead there. It's a drop foot. It's never going to come back again. So you get Mike Nolan coming in here last year, switching his damn position, putting him in a position where he had to go against tight ends and playing coverage and things of that nature, which is not what... Jalen Smith would be good at dealing with a drop foot issue. So, with that being said, this is why when he signed his new contract, this injury clause was in here. Now, it also protects the Cowboys because, again, if now they cut him, they still got to pay him the $7.2 million, But, if another team signs him, the Cowboys would only be owed the difference of what a team signed them. So if they signed them for 3.2 or 3.1, then they'll owe him four point something. So so it, it it changes the dynamic of how much they gotta they're gonna have to pay him. So basically when they when they pull out their paycheck every week to pay their players, even though Jalen Smith is no longer on the team, that's so weird to say, um they still gotta pay him a weekly salary, even though he's not here anymore. So my whole thing was why not have kept him the whole year? And like I just said, it's because of that injury thing. They're afraid that if he gets injured this season, then they're on the hook for $9.2 million, And they don't want to be on the hook for another $9.2 million. So, I don't know. I, I, I like Jalen Smith, and I thought that he was playing better this year with Dan Quinn. Some people say that he fell out of favor in, in the new system. I don't know how that could be. Um, because the new system is geared to how he plays and it's geared to his strengths. But maybe, I don't know, maybe he got into an altercation or an argument with the with Dan Quinn in the back. But I don't I don't think so because this team has good chemistry and I'll talk about that in my video tomorrow about how I'm loving how the team is just together right now. They're loving each other. But I just I, the confusing part about this whole thing is that why do it week five, like going into week five? We're getting ready to play a divisional team. Now, segue into playing that particular um, division team, because they have our old coach, Jason Garrett, they know all of our players, right? So Jason Garrett has drafted some of these guys, i.e. Jalen Smith. They tried to get Joe Looney. Joe Looney went up there and then he retired because he was like, I ain't doing that little running shit that y'all doing. <laughs> um, what if the what if the Giants sign Jalen Smith tomorrow? And Jalen Smith plays against us this week with the New York football Giants. Now he knows, because this is the thing. Understand that we've been practicing all week, right? 
Today is what, Wednesday? Wednesday, today is, I don't know if he practiced today because this news just came out this afternoon, so I don't know if he was at practice earlier. So if he was at practice earlier today, then that means that they were implementing the game plan, and that's what they do on Wednesdays. They implement the game plan for the week. That's your main practice day. It's Wednesday. Unless you play a Thursday game, then that's, you know, it's different. But you know what I mean. But, so if the Giants do sign him, that's going to be, he, he's, Jalen's going to tell him everything that we're doing on defense. So then what do you do? You scrap what you do and, 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 and change it and do something else at the last minute? I don't know. I don't know how that works because I've never played in the NFL. I just know that that's weird. But those are the things I'm thinking about. Like, <laughs> what if the Giants sign him? Then now we're screwed because now we're playing against him. And then he knows what we're going to do. And he knows how we're going to play. And he knows the game plan, what we're going to do. Yeah, that that I don't think that they should have cut him in a week that we're playing a division team. They probably should have waited another week. Um I don't know. Again, something had to happen behind closed doors on top of all this because this is what they're going to say in public, right? And this is what we know in public. But when you look at it from another standpoint, what does this really mean? Uh, did Was there an issue with Jalen? Because, again, from the outside looking in, it looks like he was playing better. It looked like things were coming together, both him and Leighton. So what does this mean for Leighton? Does this mean that Leighton gets re-signed next year? Because, again, you don't have a lot of veterans there at that position. Now, we know that Keanu Neal is, is, is a good, you know, has been playing well. So when he comes back this week off of the COVID list, is he going to slide back in there? Is Cox going to get more um, time? Are we going to see Francis Bernard? What What is going to happen? So, with that being said, y'all, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section about the Dallas Cowboys release from Jalen Smith. This is crazy. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm just shocked because I didn't think they'll actually release him. I thought they would at least keep him to the end of the season. But now that hearing about this uncomfortable nine point two million, I get it from that standpoint. But it was, it's still random. It. Again, it's random to us because we're not in the building. We're on the outside of things. We're not seeing what's going on inside that building, inside the Ford Center, inside the headquarters of Dallas Cowboys. We don't know what's going on. So we don't know what's going on in those meeting rooms. So I would love to be able to fly on the wall just so I can just see what is happening. So I know what the deal is. But anyway, I'm tired. I had a long day at work. I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to do this video because it's it just crazy. It just came out and... I don't know. Like I said, comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this is crazy. Just let me know what y'all think about Jalen Smith. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, hit that notification bell too so you can get the content. Because some of you guys said um, my videos aren't coming up in your notifications. Make sure your notification bell is on and switch to all so you can get all of the content. Because I'm doing video. Because some of you guys are like, where you been, E2? I've been here doing videos. You just got to come and watch it. <laughs> but anyway, in, in the meantime, between time, y'all have a great evening. Peace out.